Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Bionicle Retro Review. I'm your host, Bro the Matoran, and I'm here to review the Bionicle Muwaka and Kani Ra, the biggest Rahi of the whole line, because I don't count the Manas because the Manas is well they're just the Manas. We'll get to that when we review them. But today we're doing the you know, these Rahi, which is set number eight five three eight, piece count six hundred and forty seven and released in 2001 and the retail price was $70 okay that's that's pretty fair it's pretty recent because that's actually recent that's pretty fair and reasonable pricing for the time it was released because it's 600 pieces and that's typically how they would how much they'll sell it I said now that how much it probably would be for real I don't know I don't remember how how they were price price things now i mean anyway let's get into the review let's stop with the side tangent all right this is brand new at least relatively and because you can still hear the the stuff inside and it's not been open technically let's look at the back okay you have the picture of of course the muaka and kani ra doing their signature function which is which is you know their jaw and neck kind of motion here and they have the combiner model which is the kuma nui i think is the name i don't remember too well and then we have some of the functions you could do with, well which is like what they supposed to do like they fight each other they take the mask off and you could pull their sockets arm out of their sockets it's okay and of course i just showed you the combiner model and the picture for monog the online not to do a game which is pretty cool i mean to play it i didn't play it yet but we'll get into that another day and on the front same thing just they're doing their thing and it comes with the infected how which is exclusive to this set I believe I don't think there's any other set that has it and I think it was hand painted I believe I don't I'm not sure I heard that it was hand painted possibly but I don't know but whatever I'll make be the judge of that I guess somehow when I see it but um okay that's it for the box well not quite we got the top that shows hold on let me fix the camera okay it shows more of the functions and what they do of course bionicle and then at the bottom nothing for real and then on the side we have you have tahu and the, the muwaka going after him he's about to swing his sword in action pretty cool and that's it for that. So let's actually open the box and see all the good content that is inside of the Mwaka and Kani Ra. Okay, this is the bottom. I need to flip it. All right. And there. All right. So this is brand new. Comes with the tires, okay. A four bags, that's pretty cool. And this is crazy. Just think about this for a second. Legit, not been opened literally. And the tire fell. Let me move that out of the way. Literally has not been touched by time since it was sealed back in 2001. So 20 years have been sitting in this bag. That's kind of crazy to think about. But I think it's pretty awesome. So you see all the bags, it's four bags, it's cute and all. And we have the rubber bands, the, the, uh, some of the, um, I don't know what you call these pieces, but I know they are, obviously. And we have some promotional stuff, artwork for the, um, Lego, and this is weird. Oh, you can ship things and stuff like that. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Some more promotional stuff for 
2001 Bionicle and all this other stuff advertising yeah you get it and of course the booklets this one's a lot thicker because this one contains the the combination model in it so that's one that's why this one's bigger and then you have the smaller one which is just for the Mwaka and it's pretty thin and a box just in case you want a box alrighty now I am about to start the speed build for it so I will see you guys when I am done building them
Kafka and Connie Roth finally finished in full piece. So, let's go ahead and get into review. All right, Mwaka and Connie Roth. You got a tiger, and you got a bull. And that's cool, and that isn't. That tilting, that's kind of annoying. Okay, pros and cons. Pro is that they're very large, very powerful, and they just look cool. You know, that's a adjective. Opinion? Anyway, second pro is, well, I will say their color scheme even. Because the gray, blacks, and then their color is pretty nice and it's not, you know, overwhelming. It could use a little bit more of their color, but I'm not going to complain. It's still pretty good. Thirdly is their obvious function, which is to clamp. As you push this down, that pushes the clamp and the grab. And the point is what you do with them, you knock the mask off, so I can do it right, pull it out, and then it's not supposed to fall out, but I guess it just won't. So I'm just gonna work with that. Alright, let's get that out. Okay, that's pretty cool actually. That's actually probably one of the funner um, little games you're supposed to play to knock the mask off, because this actually can work. Unlike most others, that actually work pretty easily. So that's actually pretty cool. I actually really like that. That is a very good pro. <clears throat> And a fourth pro, in my opinion, but this is just me personally, is the the uh, the infected Kenoe How, and it's all infected. Just want to get a good shot of that. Let me fix the camera a bit. There we go. Now I'm not 100% sure. I think they said that this was um, hand painted or whatever. I think but I don't know for sure but either way it looks really nice and I like it a lot it's a very nice it's a very nice piece to have it is exclusive to this set so that makes it a pro in my opinion for this set because it's an exclusive piece that you can't get anywhere else and it's nice to have exclusivity with collectibles because it makes it feel special that's, that's what I mean to say <clears throat> anyway, um, is there any more pros? Not really. So let's just get into the cons. Cons is not a lot actually, because I really like these. These are actually really good Rahis. These are my personal favorite out of the bunch. I really do like them. They're the ones I wish I gotten sooner, but I'm glad I got them now. But there, with everything that's good, there always has to be something bad. So I guess is. Well, they're kind of gappy. Like, if you look, let me fix that. They're kind of gappy right around the center. They're kind of just very gappy like. That's a, that's a awkward kind of look there. I, mean, I know it's for the function, but it's just kind of feel like you could put something here to kind of beef them out. And then this weird looking treadmill track. I mean, look at this thing. I get this is how they move and they kind of got cheap and they didn't feel like putting legs or anything like that, but this looks so weird that it's going into this weird triangular thing. They got this big bulky hunk of arm and head and then it just goes on to these weird treadmill tracks. It's like, um, okay. Not what I was ex hoping for. It was a little, eh, you know. I won't say anticlimactic, but just a little, um, a little weird, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, that's like the best I can say about them. And, yeah, that's a little weird. Another con, in my personal opinion, is the flipping of this. I know you can't really fix that, and it kind of... It just bobbles and it flips upside down. I think that's how it's supposed to be, but I kind of like it right side up. I don't really like the mask upside down. I like it like this. 
it looks better in my opinion but oh well another con could be if you really look at it i mean these fall out kind of easily but i kind of took the liberty of putting one of these tiny little things i don't know what you call them to kind of hold it in place for it it won't fall out i know the point of the game is to pull it out but i'm not gonna do that i really I don't really play with them. I just kind of like to have them in place and I don't even want it falling out as soon as I pick it up to look at it. That's just me. But if you decide to buy this, do what you want because they're yours to do whatever you want with. I mean, I don't really care what you do. And, um, oh yeah, and, I, and another con, I'm about to say pro, con is these weird arrow things. I don't know if you can see that. You can, you can see it right here, the arrow things. It's kind of like we get the point that obviously these are the points where you hit them at. It's kind of obvious, but it's kind of weird to just have these obnoxious arrows right here. And even if, and for uh, Kane Ra, I was about to say Kanye. <laughs> anyway, Kanye Ra, it's weird that it's <clears throat> it's weird that it's still yellow and not just red like he's how he is. It just kind of got cheap and said, okay, let's just put. Let's just both have them yellow because we already made a bunch of yellows. Even though it just looks kind of weird on him because he's red and black and it's kind of like, what? It kind of throws you off a little bit if you're looking at it too hard. But it's not the worst thing, but it's not the, it's not my favorite. Um, it's five, well, I guess if you want to count this as a con, it, I mean, I know this is 2001, but there is a lack of, I would say, color in this set. Because you look at like, the Tarakava or the Nui Jaga, they're a little bit, I don't know, they feel like a little bit more spoof with color. These are kind of like, you see the colors, but it's mostly gray and black. I know for all the Rahid, they're gray and black. That's, that's the color, that's the theme. It's gray and black, but I don't know. It just feels kind of. I don't know, this feels really more prevalent in this set. That's just me. It just feels a little bit more prevalent. It's a lot more noticeable in this one. Because it's a lot larger. That's probably the reason why. And that's. That's it. Because the rest of it's kind of just nitpicky stuff. So. I think I'm going to leave it here. Because. I don't have much else to say about these two sets because they are my favorite Rahis. I didn't think there was going to be, but after building them and looking at them in person, I definitely appreciate them a lot more than I would have if I didn't have them in the time I didn't. So, so there. All right, that has been my review of Muwaka and Kani Ra. Join me next time when I review the final set of 2001 which is the manas was also my least favorite of the rise and i i'm all i was about to just get into it then but i want to save it for the review but there's a lot of reasons why i do not like them but we'll say that for next time and until then this has been your lovely host Ro the matoran and i'll see you all in the next Review. On the island of Mata Nui, an ancient warning of great beasts. Beware, the Rahi have come for your masks. The Toa must face the terrifying jaws of Kani Ra, the striking blows of Tarakawa, and the mighty claws of the Manas. Can you find the power? Bionicle. Batteries not included. Each set sold separately.